This week, we make dinosaurs' hearts explode. Welcome, everybody, to Let's Play, a podcast in which we discuss various games of the video variety. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom, and joining us as usual with Sorg. How are you doing, Sorg, and what did you play this week? I'm doing great, sir. Unfortunately, didn't get to too many games. I got to our challenge. I got to a lot of iOS stuff, uh, but I'm ready to rock and talk about some video games with you, sir. All right. Um, Riz, how you doing, and what did you play this week? I'm doing fantastic, Bobby. Um, I've also not been playing too many video games, per se, uh, because there's one game that I am playing nonstop right now, and it is Assassin's Creed 4. And all I'm doing now is harpooning things. <laughs> Harpoon. Harpoon. All right. Did you play anything else, or...? No. All right. Chachi, how are you, and what did you play this week? I'm irritated because it's almost December, and I still don't have November's loot crate. Yeah, I got mine and today. I didn't I'm really sorry. have much time for video games this week. Um, I played some arcade craft yesterday and today, some Pac-Man, um, Call of Duty Ghost, until I figured out that the bots camp. And, uh, and the bots? Yeah, uh, I was mm, playing a sad. private match that I set up by myself, and uh, half of the other team was camping. <laughs> and they were bots. Jeez. So, And then I, I was playing uh, Pocket Miner on my phone. But that's it. Pocket Miner, what's that? It's a mining game on my phone, hence the pocket part. Is yeah, it, very is good. it like, like <laughs> Tiny Death Star? Because, crap, that's taking up some of my time. Uh, I didn't like Tiny Death Star. Um, I, I played Tiny Tower for a while when it first came out. Uh, Tiny Death Star came out, and it was the same thing. So I moved on really quick. Nice. But it's Star Wars, Steve. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, right. No, Pocket Miner is a it, – it basically, you have so many uh, swings of your pickaxe to get deep and collect money and whatnot. Cool. Sounds like fun. Sorry. Right. When you know that there is no such thing as a karaoke bar in a Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, hey, okay. I'm not the Most Eisley had one. <laughs> it can, it can, it can, no, it's not on a karaoke bar. <laughs> sure. How else are, how else are these uh, stormtroopers going to um, get their frustrations out? They got to sing. Sorry. Target practice. <laughs> Not going to the the shooting range, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And I played um, Avengers Alliance this week, uh, of course. Um, I played a small amount of GTA. I got to I gotta rectify that this week. Um, I played a little bit of uh, – actually, I played a lot of The Legend of Zelda uh, Link Between Two Worlds, which I downloaded. It's awesome. Um, every bit as good as uh, Link to the Past. Uh, I, I actually downloaded the original Legend of Zelda last week, and I've been playing that still. And I downloaded um, – they had a sale on Mega Man games. Nice. So I downloaded Mega Man 3 and 4, played those a little bit, and I play, downloaded Punch-Out, which we'll get to later. <laughs> um, and I played Punch-Out a lot. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I played this week. Um so we're going to move on to our – oh, and did anybody play the challenge this week? I Primal did. Rage was I the did. I could not find that cord still for my 32X to play the version I have, but I did find it on that uh, that Java-based uh, online emulator. I uh, mm -hmm. played a little bit of it. Wow, it doesn't hold up, at least that version of it. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, I, although I don't remember ever getting too far with this game, to be honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I didn't I, like I, the game I remember to begin playing with. It. And uh, loving it. Mm -hmm. I didn't play. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time to play it this week. But I, I do from from my memories of the game. I loved it, and I want to keep that alive. So, <laughs> yeah, what about you, Chachi? I, I didn't like the game to begin with. I thought it was a terrible <laughs> game from the get go. So, it, you making a challenge isn't going to make me go back and relive the, mem the nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it it wasn't. <laughs> Okay, dinosaurs that fight, right. That concept, <laughs> it, it excites me for a whole 15 seconds. 
Oh, dinosaurs are awesome, man. No, dinosaurs are awesome. A you say that to Talon's face. It's not awesome. You say that to Talon's face. I'll, I'll say it to any anyone's <laughs> face. I don't. I, I don't care. That game was a terrible idea from the get go, and uh, uh, fifteen to twenty years isn't going to make it hold up. No, no. It was claymation. Were you saying, Riz? I I I agree with Chachi. I, I played only a little bit of that game. And it was pretty much just Mortal Kombat with dinosaurs. And even though that is a good concept, it it just doesn't fit right when I played it. Mm-hmm. Um, now they're saying there's going to be a rehash or, or oh, revamp what? of the game coming out what? soon. What? Or, or, or there was rumors about that. I'm so excited about that. Because Rareware is owned by Microsoft Studios. Microsoft Studios does things now like rehash old stuff. <laughs> and there was a rumor that a old Rare- Rareware game was going to come out. And it was probably going to be this game. I'm holding out for RC Pro Am. I, uh, I thought Bobby. Rare was releasing Killer Instinct, though. That's our old game. Bobby. Yeah. I, to uh, comment on your your statement that it's a claymation game, uh-huh. the only claymation fighting game that the yes. world has ever Clay needed yep. and will ever need is Same Clay Chachi. Fighter. Boogerman. That's it. What that was in only Boogerman was in Boogerman uh, thing. He was in uh, Clay Fighters. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. So. All right, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is things you should be made aware of. Um, we're going to talk about a little bit about the new releases that come out this week. Not too many. Um, it's it, it's a very slow week in video games. Um, I think with last week's uh, Xbox launch and, and the week before his PS4 launch, um, I think the, the crowd was a little bit uh, dwindled down here. Um, we have Borderlands 2, The Horrible Hunger of ravenous Waddle, uh, the Ravenous Waddle Gobbler, downloadable content for Borderlands 2, um, Air Conflicts Vietnam, F1 2013, which seems to be on that list every week, um, St. Saya, Brave Soldiers for the PlayStation Network, and that's about it. A couple other PlayStation Network games coming out too, um, but yeah. You guys going to pick any of those up? No, no, no. no. My power's flickering. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) Stay with me. All right. Quick gift for the rest of the game news before the power goes out. All right. And uh, the other thing I I think everybody should be made aware of, um, the Doctor Who's 50th anniversary, Riz, stay with me here. Um, There are tons of Doctor Who um, Easter eggs and video games. Um, Kotaku put up a, a video with that somebody went through and picked out all the Easter eggs that are through the through video, game, video games through the years that mentioned Doctor Who. Um, there's a lot of early ones that do. Um, I know Fallout, the Fallout series does. Fallout uh, New Vegas has some mentions of it. Um, even Rock Band had a mention of Doctor Who. See, and oh, I figured on. it with the, thir- the 50th anniversary um, – this year and the, the special that was on this weekend, it would it'd be cool to, to like check that out. So if you want to, you can check that out on Kotaku. Do you guys have any uh, Doctor Who games that you, or uh, Easter eggs that you found in games? I can't say I've, I've come across one. Yeah, I I honestly don't know. I, I can't remember mm-hmm. uh, thinking back, uh, probably because at the time I wasn't in Doctor Who. That's true. So I wouldn't have realized that it was a Doctor Who Easter egg. Um, but I'm curious to go back and see how many games I played uh, made a comment along the lines of it being bigger on the inside. Because <laughs> I, I seem like that would be one that would be in a lot of games. The, the so, one that I, I was like, like on that video that I that I want to go back and play again is Borderlands Two. They they said that three workers were injured while making uh, a dam. I think they were building. And one of them were like three of them were the doctor's names, like the actors who played them, like Patrick Troughton, um, Tom Baker, and um, John Pertwee. So I was like, really? <laughs> so I thought that was kind of a cool Easter egg. Awesome. 
expensive. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to our news segment here. And Riz, I think you had an article about mobile gaming getting bigger, bigger releases. Well, we all know that a uh, Rockstar did has its moments when it comes to uh, mobile transforming things. Uh, we all know GTA 3, uh, Vice City all came out. Mm-hmm. And now they're going to come out with San Andreas on the mobile app. Woo! Which is kind of cool. I want to try to pick that up soon. Uh, and also, like Sorg showing here, this is a totally different game than Black Flag. Because I, I believe it's just pirates on the boat. I don't think you get out of the boat. I think it's just more of the Naval pirate combat. fighting aspect to it. Naval the combat! Boat combat. And I, I'm not sure if it's more of an RPG. I think I said it was an RPG. But I'm not sure if it was, uh, you know, Final Fantasy style. Or, mm-hmm. Like, move by move. Uh, but if you look at the graphics for that game, I may pick that up because uh, we've we've talked about you know add-ons for mobile gaming for the consoles for about for like a few weeks now, or, or like a, a few weeks ago, and this looks nothing like one of those games. This looks like a totally different version of a game, and I might pick this up. That, that's uh, you guys interested that, in any of those? That's another reason I want to kind of get a tablet is uh, for mobile gaming and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 quasi interested. I'm more interested in um, San Andreas being re re released. Uh, that's one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games. So I think I'll pick that up. It's more interesting to me than it, than the Pirates one is. I. I I, I love I love retro games. I think the platform's perfect for something like that. Um, you know, like I say, I have a lot of Sonic, a lot of old stuff. I have GTA in mind. Um, and whenever, and, and obviously, when you see something, we're not getting a full Assassin's Creed game on this, right? Maybe we will on the iPhone eight or something. Um, but I'm okay with these like little extensions of games like this. Mass Effect has something similar where they had kind of a game that was like one of the characters, right? But it was a different kind of game a few years ago coming out, I think alongside three. Um, It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a brand new game. It was more of a strategy game. Yeah. And it was a, uh, and it was a more, and it was a, another situation toward that game. It was more, Okay, we're gonna send some troops over here to fight these guys and save some race, and then that will bring the main the main challenges on the console game will then be easier to get. Yeah, and there was actually a connection there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that, and by the way, cool. uh, sorry for everybody who wants to do that. It went offline a few weeks ago. Of course it did. No. But that's the problem with these things is is they never last when they do that connectivity like that, right? Um, but I, I but I like I still like when they do something like that or or alternate versions. Like I kind of like like Mirror's Edge was a game for that EA did that I liked on the tablet because the kind of swipe bit of it, uh, but I didn't like as much um, on. You know the regular like the first person view they did on the consoles. Uh, Dead Space has been pretty okay on on the tablet and the phone so far. Um, so I, I think they're they're finding. I actually just picked up. They had a sale this week for Jet Set Radio, which I was mad because my save game disappeared from my Dreamcast version and uh, Crazy Taxi. Wow. Uh, I think they were like two bucks a piece this week. So Crazy Taxi was amazing. So I, I, I recommend those, but I mean, this is, I mean, you got to think about that. Anything I was playing 10 years ago, I can pretty much get on my phone, at least when it comes mm-hmm. to like, you know, these companies picking up stuff like this. Yeah. Um, I, I love that. Max Payne, you can get on there. The original Max Payne for like five bucks or something. Um, it, it's great. It's great nostalgia. It's great, uh, especially as a comparison to, I know you'll talk about a little bit here, Bobby, um, you know, with Virtual Console with your 3DS. Mm-hmm. So, but... But no, I, I like to see these franchises still pushing into uh, iPhone. I think, or uh, well, uh, Android as well. Does it come out for Android as well? Yes, it is. The I also coming I, out to Android on. Uh, <coughs> my one, yeah, on uh, on December second. 
Excellent. Or de- sometime in December. And I also do for, like for, that there is parity between the devices too, for the most part. Yeah, I don't like when we had that discussion about GTA, uh, GTA Five when it came out with their the iFruit app. Yeah. The day of, I think, mm-hmm. or a week after the release of GTA Online. And then we got up five months late. <laughs> yeah, and then it just came out a few weeks ago for the Android users. But I think because of it being just a strict online or a strict mobile gaming, they will release it for both at the same time. Mm-hmm. I hope. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna move on to our next uh, thing. Uh, a Dallas Cowboy. Even though you, a lot of us don't like the Cowboys, um, being Pittsburgh Steelers fans, um, Des Bryant, uh, the receiver for the Cowboys, um, was in line with a bunch of people for PS4s, and he decided to buy them for them. Uh, nice. Riz, do you have more on this? Uh, yeah. So this might be the weirdest story and the nicest story <laughs> I've heard from, you know, being from a town of football like the Pittsburgh Steelers are uh, but I have to praise the Dallas Cowboys and Des Bryant uh, oh I think it was more Des Bryant than da- the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> yeah he went to three different stores he went to Walmart and I believe he went to two Best Buys and he bought one random person out of his own pocket the PlayStation 4. I need to meet Des, Des Bryant. <laughs> Des Bryant. Okay. All right. Um, let me put this into perspective for you because apparently mm-hmm. you have none. All right. Des Bryant is a contracted player in an NFL team. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. He is a wide receiver, I believe. Mm-hmm. Which means off the bat – even if he's a shitty wide receiver, which he's not because he's constantly on my uh, fantasy team, mm-hmm. he makes at least $10 million plus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay? Easily. Okay. On top of that, he's bucket. a celebrity. So, one, dude never has to buy a gaming system for the rest of his career because he already gets it sent to him by Xbox and PlayStation. Why? Because those companies feel like these people should have them for free even though they're super rich. Yeah. They want their products in their hands. Right. And two, it, it, the second point of this, which is why I can't believe it, it's such a big deal, <laughs> he only bought three people a system. All right? That's all right. Yeah, but even he, he, he could have not bought it bought, for anybody, though. Even if he bought them a game, all right, we'll we'll say six hundred dollars a pop. Dude spent his pocket change. Hey, Chachi. If you had ten million dollars. I would, I would like to remind you that you're talking to the guy that's in the process of setting up his own nonprofit organization. I am aware of that. Go but ahead. Would you, if you had ten million dollars on you right now, and you were in Des Bryant's shoes, would you pay those guys for their game? If there was seven hundred people in line. At the combined three stores, you realize that the cost of buying everyone there the systems would barely put a dent in that amount. I am aware of this. So, yeah, I would have bought everyone a system. Or, you know, give it to charity. That is a good point. Yeah. I think Jerry Jones should let everybody play on the giant screen, too. Yes. <laughs> Jerry Jones won't do that because Jerry, no, Jones, Jerry Jones is old evil. and he doesn't know what technology is. Allegedly. You know it sucks though? 
finding a place to hook up the Xbox One or PS4 to those giant screens. Yeah. That now, would there's suck. probably something in the press box for it. You would hope. Oh, they, there has to be. Or it'd suck to be the guy that has to hang from the rafters of the dome to plug <laughs> it in. <laughs> yeah! he, has to, he has to bungee down from the uh, openable dome. With an I mean, they, they, do, they do play Madden with, on the giant like screen on at Times Square, so I would think they have some sort of technology yeah, they to do that. Something. Will you stop Dude. ruining my image? I just picture Dude. this guy with a 500 foot extension cord, <laughs> bungee down, bungeeing down behind the big ass screen so he can hook up the Xbox. You're not putting the connect at the top of that com- that. That screen, there. that's not gonna no, work. Not at Jerry all. Jones, Jerry Jones just has one of those projectors that you point at the screen that are in like every school. That's the only thing he uses on the screen. <laughs> uh, all right. All right um, on. Since nobody's gonna buy us an Xbox, uh, we're gonna move on to our, our next story. Um, which, guys, I don't know if this has happened to you before, but have you bought multiple games for the same system, or like, have you bought games throughout time? Like, uh, for for example, Legend of Zelda on, like, different consoles. I very explicitly, when I got my Wii for Virtual Console, said mm-hmm. I will not buy a game that I own the cartridge for. Okay. Cause... Wait, do you mean uh, the, the same game on multiple consoles or um, this... a game that you don't have on a new console? No, the same game on different consoles. Like if, like recently, I went to uh, right before we had our twenty-five hour gameathon. I went to um, uh, a local store and got Punch Out. Okay, fourteen ninety nine. I paid for Punch Out. Okay, wow. The game worked which, perfectly. Which wait, hold on. Is it Mike Tyson or just Punch it, Out? It is just it's just regular Punch Out. Mr. Dream. That's the that's the going price for Punch Out. That's crazy. Itself. Yeah, that's for that's the going crazy. price for regular Punch Out. Mike Tyson's Punch Mike, Out was twenty five. And that's and that's low considering that uh, the and it might have been thirty. It's just what's that? It might have been thirty. Now that I think of it, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, according to the guide, just the court cartridge is mm-hmm. worth forty five dollars. Wow. But anyways. I bought this for fifteen dollars. The other day, I was going through the um, Nintendo 3DS eShop, and I picked up Punch Out for five dollars on the, the 3DS. So I paid twenty dollars for two different versions of Punch Out: one that I can play anywhere, and one that I can only play in one place. You know, but these games, like these old Nintendo games. Some of them are so good that you want to just buy them over and over again throughout like different time periods, just to bring that nostalgia back. And I'm I'm, I'm calling that the Nintendo syndrome, much like the <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. Well, <laughs> because I, well, I, I think I think it in uh, the way video games are now really enables that. Say, mm-hmm. um, I just you know I have Duke Nukem for oh god for my iPhone for my Xbox 360. I just rebought it for the. For Steam, because I don't know where my disc is. For not that I my DOS disc would play on anything. Um, so there's a game that I bought or downloaded because it was for free on iOS at least four or five times because even, of convenience and nostalgia. I, I even have the re-release. <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> Punch out for the Wii. Well, that's a no. that's if, a new game. That's if, a new game. If I could find Super Punch Out for the Super Nintendo. I would buy that. That's a different game. Punch though. Out Crazy, man. Well, yeah, but it's a, a remake of Punch Out, pretty much. Still, still. I mean, it's it's not much different. I mean, you know? I mean, I, I bought, it's very oh, different. What's that? It's very different. It's, it's a little different. What's I mean, that? What's that, Riz? It didn't change too much. Stop buying Punch Out games. <laughs> You're <laughs> addicted. I, uh, I, I can honestly say that I don't have that problem. No. I do. Um, because if I have a working version of the console in my house hooked up to my TV, mm-hmm. 
that's how I'm going to play it because that's how it was meant to be played. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and on top true. of that, if I'm in the mood to play said game and I'm sitting on the crapper, then I'm not going to repay for a game that I already have. But it's only because, like five because bucks. Because like that five falls bucks, under yeah, exactly. the ROM rule. But if I, I own I have, a physical I also copy have... of the game, then I am rightfully allowed to use the ROM. Okay, but what if, like, like okay, you obviously can do ROMs on Android devices, you have an Android phone and everything, but mm. what about for everybody, you know, the, for people that, you know, maybe don't know about that, or won't fuss with that, or, you know, they're just, like, Bobby with his 3DS, or maybe me with my iPhone or something, you know, what if it's like, ah, oh, man, they got this in the iOS store, it's only 99 cents, you know why not? I I don't mind having every Sonic the Hedgehog on my phone. You know, I saw I saw in the the Dollar General stores a handheld Sega Genesis console that was like hand, handheld like the game Game Gear for forty dollars, and it, it has like, like forty five games on it. Yeah, I know. Oh, really? Yeah, they awesome. have they have uh, the handheld, and then they have. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last couple of years they have that Atari unit that plugs into the RCA jacks on your yeah, TV, yeah. and it has like a hundred and some games on it. Is this? Well, it? they also have the Sega Genesis version of that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That has, it. This one with eighty games built in that I just found at the Dollar General website. One, you can buy stuff online from Dollar General. What? Wow, that's yes. new. What? Today I learned. Today, this is what I learned. Yeah, <laughs> and it's got wait, wait, you know, I might pick this up. Holy hell! That it's awesome. It's better than finding the chords for my my Genesis, and it has a bunch of stuff that I don't even have. And it has right. really good games on it. it has um, Eternal Champions, Sonic, um, the, I, even like I think Virtual Fighter is one of them. Or it's maybe got not Virtual SD Fighter. Cards. But... Is this legal? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I guess the the. Um, statue print out or something yeah yeah well the well it, it does for the hardware but the games how do you how do you get the games especially 80 of them like that i mean and it's not all just sega they're not yeah they're not all genesis games. it's capcom oh really That's no they, they they say 80 games but it's really 40 genesis games and then the rest of the crap they just throw on random stuff oh jeez. like checkers and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah I, I just, I just, I don't know. I, and and how well, many of you have said I'm not going to buy a new system? And I'm, I'm not going to buy a new Nintendo system unless they put um, Legend of Zelda on it, or Mario Kart, or a new Mario game. You know, I mean, these characters have us almost kidnapped. Basically. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. I would go ahead and say that at this point, Legend of Zelda is. Uh, ingrained in my skin yeah yeah i would say um, that too I, i'm pretty tattoo. much there for life um but it, the only thing that would make me and this is where i'm whipped by legend of zelda um is the only way i would buy a new version of it is if they mm-hmm. released some kind of version for the phone mm-hmm. um and that is the only way um Nintendo will do that though Right, because that, but then, but that, then that, that's that the thing. That's the thing where where convenience would be big on you, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what if you had a 3ds and it was available on there? There's a portable version of it. Let's presume you it actually is. carried around a 3ds. First of all, Josh, it. like let, let, let's pretend <laughs> you weren't you weren't you weren't hooked on to Android, and you're like, this is how I play my portable gaming. I got a 3ds. I get the new games. Would, would you would you consider buying it if, it, if which it is available there? It's so good, Chachi. <laughs> I, I don't you know. Want so to, honestly, you want to you want to play Zelda on the crapper? That is the American dream: is to play video <laughs> games on the crapper on the bus yeah, wherever you want to be. The thing is, though, and, and I, you know, I probably would buy it just because it's there. However, at the same time, probably not because if I'm carrying around a 3DS, that mm-hmm. means I'm in the middle of a game. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, there is a cartridge like, in the 3DS. Like Legend of Zelda that playing. you downloaded off the Virtual Console. No, yeah. if I own a 3DS, all right, and I, I yelled at Target and Nintendo today on Twitter because um, they advertised the the Legend of Zelda 3DS with the Triforce on it, 
And I said, I don't need a 3DS with the Triforce on it. And then I said, oh, who am I kidding? Give me my precious. Um, (laughs) But if I'm carrying around a 3DS, there's most likely a cartridge in it that I'm already playing. Yeah. Therefore, if I'm sitting on the crapper and I and I'm presumably there for a long time because I have my 3DS with me, I, I'm you just I'm, I mean I'm, just I'm, you came home, shots you 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 <laughs> you ate at the Mongolian Grill and you know it's going to take some time. You need an <laughs> epic adventure with a guy in a little green hat to pass the time until your legs I'm fall asleep. I'm already playing it then <laughs> because <laughs> honestly, <laughs> if I if I have a 3DS. Uh, with a link between worlds coming out mm-hmm. i'm already on an epic adventure with a guy in a green hat <laughs> all right i don't need to go back and relive that one on the crapper because if i really want to play it you want to see how easy it is for me to grab legend of zelda it's right it's there wow that's hey amazing. well look at that i got it too it's- i reached my arm up and it wasn't even fully extended and I could reach the two, one of the two games that I keep near my Nintendo. <laughs> Rage Cage. I just, it's Rage been here forever. I, I, just, I don't have a Sega CD that works anymore. I, I mean, uh, there are. I, I have. I have a very nice uh, uh, pleather case that I keep my Nintendo games in. So well, you've you, you've seen it. Yeah, yes, wonderful pleather. What's up, Chris? There you go. He's got his Didn't even get on my chair. Spec the awkward. But, uh, if there are two Nintendo games that I keep near my Nintendo or in my Nintendo at all times, Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Brothers Three, which they're releasing on the eShop soon. <laughs> <laughs> Get it! I know you like, get it. I have to save my credits for that. <laughs> so, and 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 going back to your your thing about the the tr- cartridge already being in 3ds. I don't need a cartridge in the 3DS because I downloaded The Legend of Zelda, um, A Link Between Two Worlds, digitally. So I have it in my 3DS at all times now. Wow. So. I mean, there, there's some. I, I don't mean to be mean or anything, Bobby, but there's something about putting the game in the console that makes it so much better than downloading on hardware. Like, I've... I've only played a few games on my Xbox Live that I downloaded. I'm playing all these console games on this side. And I know I know it's more I again, I agree with Chachi when he says that if he gets a 3DS, he's going to play cartridge games and not download stuff online. Mm-hmm. Stuff online. It, it, hold on, a little bit of perspective from the chat room we're getting. Uh, Dolo John, he says that he also got the GBA re-releases of Adventures of Link, my favorite Zelda game. Uh, John says also he's picking up 3DS for the new Zelda. Uh, there's some other stuff in here. Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger Final Fantasy VI. I know my brother's been picking up all the old Final Fantasies. Um, so I, and especially since it becomes so much easier. And I, I really think we, we talk about Nintendo, they have the nostalgia factor hooked. Bobby, you're hooked. Look at you. <laughs> Look at that guy with, yep. his, with his games. Are these all your games that you bought in that one sitting in this picture over here? No, no, actually I got those on Google. Hey, respect for the tension, Indiana Jones in the, in the, uh, Temple of Doom, by that the way. Hard. And NES open. I've never played that game. That's the only game in this pile I don't think I've ever played. Yeah, I think that's the only one I haven't played either. Ice hockey is a classic. <laughs> but, awesome. but, I, but in my article, I went on to say that I bought um, the Mega Man 2, 3, and 4. Okay, I've had, I had the original cartridges. I bought them on 3DS now. I've had, I had the anniversary collection for PS2. <laughs> I have them on ROMs. I mean, anywhere I can, I can access Mega Man anywhere. See, several versions of Gauntlet, but it's one of those games. Like, you know, I want to play Mega Man. This is the device I have. Last show on, on Awesome Cast, we were talking about how uh, if I needed to get work done, I can grab whatever device is nearby. You can do the same thing when I want to play Mega Man. Oh, here we go. You know, <laughs> I mean, but that's kind of pretty cool that you're able to do that. And again, you are getting money. But if I guess it was one of those 
you know what? This is worth dropping another buck for Mega Man 2 just to be on my phone for the heck of it, right? Am I really mm-hmm. going to play a lot of it? No, but sometimes when I'm nostalgic, be like, well, I don't have to dust off the Nintendo. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's play a little bit of Mega Man, sure. You know, it's just kind of there, you know, along with Streets Race, along with Sonic the Hedgehog, it, it just all kind of like, it makes you feel comfortable. You have this hey. little bit of something you're used to that's always there in your pocket. All right, what we're going to do now is going to move on to our boss battle question, which is what, which is kind of ties in with this. What are we most fa- thankful for in gaming? Um, Chachi, what are you most thankful for? Legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, and seriously, uh, and not, not, uh, to, go in, to, to be a little bit more specific, the mm-hmm. fact that they're still releasing Legend of Zelda games. Yeah. Because I mean, Absolutely. sword. When did Skyward Sword come out? When when did we go to the con? Last, jeez, well, twenty eleven. Okay, so that's uh, up until now, with uh, the new three DS game. That's the last time we had a brand new Legend of Zelda game. Yeah, mm-hmm. not yeah, a remake or HD remake. Right. It, I Which mean, so brings us back to the remakes and everything. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, and yes, you're rebuying it, but it's new to somebody. Somebody's mm-hmm. experiencing Wind Waker for the first time. Somebody's oh, yeah. buying the original I, Legend of Zelda experience I for the first I don't have time. a problem with it. Uh, if someone else wants to go and rebuy the game, that's fine. Um, I, especially if it's Legend of Zelda. The more other people buy it, mm-hmm. the more they realize that it's still wanted, mm-hmm. which means I will get new original content. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so True. it works out for me in the long run. So yes, a 13-year-old who was not alive to play Ocarina of Time, please go buy Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Please do. Mm-hmm. And, and because you'd if be doing you buy yourself Ocarina a favor. of Time, then they're going to be like, oh, well, we saw a boost in this, in this game sales over the past six months. 13. We should probably release a game. That 13-year-old bought a lot of copies of that game. Well, I mean... Yeah, yeah. It, it, assumptions that more than thir- one 13 year old would go out and buy the game but i mean so yeah please by all means if you haven't lived the game go buy the game just know that i'm not going to buy multiple copies because i have mine right there <laughs> right right but people do yeah all right uh, riz what are you thankful for i'm thankful for the past few months have been extremely pleasurable for video games We've got Saints Row, mm-hmm. Ghosts, Goats, Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. Bioshock Infinite, which came out like March. March, yes. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is awesome, by the way. And back to Saints Row 4. I have played these games nonstop. There hasn't been one bad game that I've played this year and I've been have, I've wasted hours wasted a whole day playing video games um, <laughs> play, playing these games and it, I'm thankful that we have these games taking up our time uh, Sorg, what are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for the advent of digital um, distribution coming to the consoles. It's something I've enjoyed for a while, as we talked about on Steam. It's for mm-hmm. the longest time. Uh, but I love, like, you know, that, uh, you know, I can get, you know, they had sales over the summer where I picked up a lot of games. I'm still going through them. Um, and that's one of the reasons I've picked up a lot of new ones or put a lot of time into Ghost yet. Uh, because I still have Max Payne 3, which I'm almost to the end of. I, I still have uh, a Mortal Kombat I finally got got my hands on. I tr- a Bold Storm, which was like a big surprise. It was like, five bucks, why not? Uh, so it gives you a chance to experiment with that. Uh, the Xbox Live free game program that's still going on um, mm-hmm. gives you a lot of different stuff to experiment with. Um, and whether you like it or not, I probably wouldn't have put money on Crackdown, but now I'm like, oh, I know what Crackdown's like. I don't know if I like it so much. And, you know, we've had the conversation about that game. I fell asleep playing that game. There you go. Um, we were talking on Awesome Cast earlier about Xbox One because Chilla has a chance to go over uh, Crazy Cross's house and, and check it out. And and he has no discs. All the games hmm. he has, he downloaded. And apparently they're doing day one downloads of all their releases now with the Xbox. Nice. Um, so you could go get an Xbox and never have to go back to Walmart. 
Yeah. That's, that's that's a plus. <laughs> that's awesome. No disc uh, spinning, and you know re- whether I need it or not because I installed the damn game that came with an installed disc anyways. Uh, like in the case of Ghost and GTA Five, uh, uh, no reason to go. Oh, I'm gonna put the disc. Go do this. You know. I mean, you can already do that, but now it's like not even. You don't have to. You don't have to wait. Oh, okay. Maybe they'll release it here in a few few weeks or something no. like that. It's just you got you can get here or here. Do you want do you want this version or do you want this version? Um, I think that's great. I, I, I think I think it's it's great that we have that option. We can get rid of that. You don't have to worry about little kids scratching your discs anymore. I don't know what that's what that's what that means. Whatever that hand motion was, <laughs> I just did. Um, but but it, it's kind of a realization of a digital dream that they've been talking about for about ten years. Now you don't even have to leave your house to uh, go to the dollar store. We learned no. No, no. So. I can get my Dollar General Sega Genesis. Oh, it's going to be such a good Christmas. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I am thankful for the current generation of systems. Uh, to be more specific, the Xbox 360, not the PlayStation 3. Um, I, I know that's going to be kind of controversial, but I hate it. Hey, you know who's thankful for the PlayStation 3? Who's that? Satan, because it comes straight from hell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, it's a good Blu-ray player. <laughs> but I, it's Satan no. spawn, it is. No, but I, I mean, I mean, this has been a really great, like Riz was t- touched upon earlier, this has been a really great generation for, for video games. Mm-hmm. Um Okay. There are so many great games, even this year, last year. I'm still playing Skyrim. I'm still playing Borderlands, Borderlands 2. I mean, there are so many great games that came out this generation. And I'm looking forward to what the 360 and the PS4 can do for next generation. Can they top it? I don't know. I, I used to think that they couldn't top PlayStation 2, though. And they did with the 360 and, I, to a certain extent, PS3, too. So that's what I'm thankful for. The video games keep getting better and better and better. So, all right. Um, our our uh, challenge for this week, um, according to our poll, is Comic Zone Woo! for the Sega Genesis, Bullshit. which you can play on that game, the the Sega game thing. You know what? You know what? Honestly, that I, I have the I own the cartridge, but I'm probably completely going to go get it on my iPhone just to play it for this. I hold on a second. I, I'm, I'm probably going to do it right now. I'm gonna play it on the potty, man. I'm gonna comic zone on the potty. This is gonna be amazing. Bobby, I demand a recount because I distinctly remember voting for Paperboy. Paperboy only had one vote. Respect the Paperboy. Yeah, so far, let me let me let me refresh and we'll see. Screw screw we'll see. your vote. I'm playing Paperboy. <laughs> okay. No, it's still, it's still comic zone. Well, we're we're gonna go down through each each of the one each of the ones here. Um, if you want to vote, I'll put the poll up on insertcointobegin dot com. So it, it's I'm gonna be the, the, Good. Let's know the how rest, it goes. it's gonna be the poll for through the rest of the year. So we're we're probably gonna get to a lot of these challenges. Um, and that will do it for this us this week. You can follow us on insert coin to begin or, or insert coin TV. You can uh, go to the website. New articles going up. Um, Chachi, I think you have a big one coming up. You said about tomorrow which is Wednesday, Um, and that'll do it. So uh, game over, everybody. Till next time.